Booyah Fightwear, the absolute best made merchandise in mixed martial arts today. Hats, beanies, shirts, long sleeves, sweatshirts, tank tops, and something hot for the ladies. Best made merchandise in MMA. Can I get a booyah? You damn skippy, Bippy. Now, entering King of the Cage Steel, fighting out of the San Manuel Indian Bingo and Casino Corner. At five feet, 10 inches tall, he weighed in at 160 pounds. Representing Aguirre's Fighting Sicil, sponsored by Tap Out. He is the Gladiator Challenge Lightweight Champion and Titans of the Pentagon Welterweight Champion from San Bernardino, California. This is Sad Allah! Saida was. Let me tell you, this guy has mad skills. Mad skills. Comes in with some good stand up, good wrestling, great combination of everything, but he has his hands full of mad. Bryson Kamaka is huge. The wealth of experience. Especially fighting out of the 808 fight factory, man. Those guys are so dope down there. Yeah, the one thing that has, I look across the, the ring and I think I'm fighting Jane Lee. And then next thing you know, I want to run for cover. <laughs> Before I get tried by 12, they coming to get me, I ain't going to jail. I'm getting guap thorn, blowing the scale. The fiends loving it, plot. That it's been in the game the a long beans, time. Quick. Fought you a know lot of good guys. He's really so got better. Yeah, you know, he's been doing this for I don't even know how long. Off tangy gym and juice again. Skags hopping the jet. But he just groomed his skills over and over and over and over. Really, really well rounded. But he's going to need every one of those skills to get by. Pat Bryson. Bryson's been in there. There was some really big games, had some title shots, had some unfortunate situations happen. You know, he was definitely in there with uh, Aaron Witherspoon. Aaron Witherspoon was having a really tough time with him before he got finished. He was tossing Thomas Kenny around like a child before he punched the ring and broke his hand. This kid deserves a title shot. He said Bryson Kamaka is no joke. This could also be a big win for Sidewatch as well. His opponent now entering King of the Cage Steel, fighting out of the Magna Flow corner. At five feet, 11 inches tall, he weighed in at 161 pounds. Representing 808 Fight Factory, Sponsored by Miller Lang and Tap Out. He is the X1 155 pound champion from Wane, Hawaii. This is Bryson Kamaka. It has definitely been a while since we've had Bryson Kamaka here. And uh, very excited to see what he's been up to uh, with his craft. Yeah, I hope he's been training and he comes in shape. Anytime I've seen him before, he's always been in shape and he brings it. He's a massive, massive 150 pounder, 160 pounder. I was gonna say, are you sure this guy's 150 pounder? Hey. Yeah, absolutely gigantic. And of 
course, what you're hearing right now is Head P.E. You can find their albums over at subnoiserecords.com. You know, those guys providing music for King of the Cage makes it that much better. Cypress Hill, Send Dog, Cottonmouth Kings, Head P.E. The list goes on. Check out today, subnoiserecords.com. I go from Sunday Sexton. Yeah, and I remember later on tonight, Greg Hoosman gets set to take on Mamaru. <laughs> that is a tough fight indeed. Also, Ruben Duran gets set to take on Kana Hyatt as both fighters are coming off impressive KOs. Very excited to see where that fight will end. I was hoping you weren't going to bring all the stuff up. I thought I saw him in the crowd, but uh, then you go ahead and uh, put me on blast. Thanks a lot, dude. That's all right. We'll claim you're still drunk. It's cool. <laughs> That's where I was earlier when it sounded like I was ignoring you. <laughs> Here we go. Bryson Kamaka gets set to take on Saad Awad. And here they go, touching hands. Both guys coming out. That's a good, solid leg take by Bryson. Both guys swinging for the fences. Solid left hook by Saad. These guys are dropping bombs. Oh, and there's a good left hook, and wow. down goes Bryson. Finishing it off is Saad. Saad just finishes the 808 guy. It was all about who was going to have the tougher chin in that, and you definitely know that Saad Awad had the tougher chin and hung in there and just completely annihilated Bryson Kamaka. That is a very impressive win for Saad Awad. Boy, I'll tell you what, those guys were throwing bombs. It was going to end one way or another, man. Bombs. And it, it happened so quick, you already see a little cut on his eye. Such lightning speed. Saad ate some punishment there, ate two or three left hooks, big right hand, and then Bryson catches one right on the button. And there's that straight right down the pipe and just drops Bryson. Beautiful KO victory, man. Wad just hanging in the pocket and dropping bombs. That's the kind of fight everybody comes to see right there. Absolutely. No feeling out, no <laughs> bobbing and weaving, just dropping bombs trying to knock each other out. It's, oh, that's what I call getting straight to the point, man. There's no handshaking, no nothing. Let's just do this. And the best thing about it is corner man just went into the cage with a drink. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. These guys are just gangsters throwing bombs. <laughs> that has to be his dad right there. Super proud of his son. Hanging in there, throwing bombs with a top-notch fighter. That's a tough kid right there, man. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for these two men. Somebody make some noise for these two warriors. Your winner in 51 seconds of round number one. Technical knockout, referee stoppage shooter strikes. Representing Aguirre's fighting system. Sponsored by Tap Out, Sad Award. Put your hands together for Bryson Kamaka. And your winner, Syed Boy, I tell you what, that's a long flight back to Hawaii. Short night, but a long flight back.
Terry Trebilcock, founder here of King of the Cage, president. Right here, these guys are just swinging, swinging. Bryson Kamaka goes down. Sadawad comes in and just seals the deal here. You would have thought with that wicked left hook that saw at eight right there that he was going to back off, but tough as nails, stays in the pocket and drops a right hand right on the button. Ladies and gentlemen, I am standing here with an exuberant Syed Ahmad and a fan base that's just rushed the cage. Right out of the gate, left, right, left, and you're jumping on top of the cage. Tell me how you're feeling right now, brother. Oh, I feel great. I feel great. Thanks to everybody for coming out. I think half my family, or all my family, except for one person, my dad, my training camp, and everybody that helped me get ready, I just want to say thank you. Who do you have to thank besides your family and your training camp? I know you got some sponsors, some other people that helped you along the way. I got a tap out, the best team in the world over here, Gears Fighting System, Millennia, Georgie, Richard, Franklin, and especially my dad for believing in me. King of the Cage, thank you for giving us the opportunity to fight. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together one more time for the happy man, Syed Owen. It's very emotional for a, a father to see his son fight, get in there, win. Definitely got to be proud of his son there. Yeah, that's awesome, especially a guy who's in there just banging away like that, boy. 